Thank you for joining us on the newsroom. I am Fola Shade Ogurinde. The federal government has announced the reopening of Echo Bridge on Friday, August the 13th. According to the Federal Comptroller of Works in Lagos, Olukayo de Popola, in a statement on Thursday night, the 10 week rehabilitation works on the Co Bridge were completed on schedule. He also said traffic will be diverted for the repair of the Bunt Lagos Airport flyover from August 13. He, however, clarified that additional works to be carried out on the Echo Bridge would not require closure. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have arrested three bandits with three AK 47 rifles as well as other dangerous items while on an attack mission in Castina State. According to the Benue State Command, the arrest and seizures were made at NDLEA checkpoint when narcotic officers stopped and searched vehicles for illicit drugs. Chairman of the agency, retired Brigadier General Mohammed Baba Mawa, while commending the commands, noted that the NDLEA will continue to support efforts by other security agencies, especially the armed forces, to restore law and order across the country. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has approached the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja, asking it to sack Governor Maimala Beni of Yobe State from office. PDP in the suit maintained that Governor Beni acted in breach of sections 183 and 187 of the 1999 Constitution, as amended when he accepted an appointment as caretaker committee chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC. Aside from PDP, also cited as second and third plaintiffs that are behind the suit are its governorship and deputy governorship candidates in the state. However, no date has been fixed for the matter to be heard. The African Export Import Bank, which facilitated the procurement of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, says the vaccine cost Nigeria $7.50 as against $10 per dose. African Bank's regional chief operating officer, Abdullah Kone, who disclosed this on Thursday in Abuja, said that the country would be procuring about 29.850 uh, million doses through the African Union's African Vaccine Acquisition Trust, AVAT. Kone said that with the first shipment of 177,600 doses of the J&J vaccines, Nigeria would be receiving its over 2 million vaccine doses in batches being part of the 29.850 million doses that the federal government of Nigeria procured through the efforts of the AU Commission. The Central Bank of Nigeria and the chief executives of the Deposit Money Banks under the aegis of the Bankers Committee have announced that foreign exchange for personal travel allowance, business travel allowance as well as school fee and medicals would now be sold online. This disclosure was made by the outgoing managing director of Guarantee Trust Bank PLC, Shebun Agbaje, at a media briefing at the end of the Bankers Committee meeting on Thursday in Lagos. It stressed that the application process and bank information will be shared via a portal set up by NIBSS in order to guard against fraudsters. U.S. President Joe Biden will be sending a special envoy to Ethiopia to push for an end to increase fighting that has worsened fears of an unfolding humanitarian disaster. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan announced a trip by envoy Jeffrey Thoughtman on Thursday. Sullivan also urged Ethiopia's government and Tigray People's Liberation Front to come to the negotiation, negotiating table after nine months of conflict. Feltman's mission follows a trip earlier made by U.S. aid chief Samantha Power to Addis Ababa will push for all sides to hand hostilities before the warning of an impending humanitarian catastrophe if more aid is blocked. Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk has extended his contract with the club until summer of 2025. Van Dijk made his comeback to first-team action in pre-season after nine months out of with a serious knee injury sustained in October's Merseyside Derby. The 30-year-old heads into the new campaign, which begins on Saturday for the Reds at Norwich City, with a full pre-season under his belt and three friendly runouts. The centre bank has made 130 appearances in all competitions, scoring 13 goals for the Reds since his arrival. And that's it on our update at this hour. Do join us at the top of the hour for more. I am Fola Shadi. Green Day. Bye for now.